Today I'm going to show you how to repair a leaking ball cup seal on a Ford or International 6.0 liter power stroke diesel engine. It turns out that each one of your nipple or ball cups here actually has an o-ring behind it. and That o-ring seals the oil rail to the nipple cup. And as you know the nipple cup is the part that actually goes down into the fuel injector and it's sealed by a top injector seal or o-ring in the top of your injector there. A leak at this point is actually going to show up first as a leak in the top of your injector there. If you've air tested your high pressure oil system and you're getting air leaking from around the top of uh, one or more of your injectors, um, you're first going to want to replace that top injector seal. Um, well, Ford will have you replace the entire injector, but you can get a kit from Bostec ISK 102. Um, Tech Industries. Uh, it comes with the copper crush washer, the lower, the upper, the top seal, the retaining clip, and your two connector o-rings. Um, gonna want to go ahead and replace that seal. I've got another video on YouTube showing an easy way to get that clip out and replace that seal. Um, once you get your seal out, you're gonna want to take a close look at it. What you're probably gonna see is one side that's nice and smooth. Um, not uh, not damaged. And then you look at the other side and it looks like it's been sandblasted or eroded or eaten away. And this one actually got to the point where it failed right there. Um, what you're looking at is the eroded side is, is was on the top. It was facing the nipple cup. And the smooth side was the part down in the injector. And so what's happening is you got your your high pressure low volume oil leak there shooting out at like 3500 psi traveling along the body of the nipple cup and just eating away at the top of that seal till eventually you get a, a failed seal there so if you if you've got a seal that's failed from the top down you know for sure that you need to replace that o-ring there Ford's answer to this problem go out and buy a brand new oil rail they're gonna charge you uh, at least five hundred dollars per side um, and of course that's going to take care of the problem a thousand dollars later um, Bostec uh, makes a solution for this as well part number ISK 606 it's actually a brand new nipple cup OEM spec exactly the same as the, the OEM uh, cup in everywhere and an upgraded Viton o-ring now according to Bostec the o-rings that Ford installs in their oil rail from the factory are not Biton, so they're not going to last as long. So you get one of these kits from uh, Boss Tech. They are sold individually, um, $39 each. So you get one for each failed injector or buy them all to replace uh, all of your nipple cups. Um, you are going to need ISK 607 or another tool. Um, this tool actually has a cavity there to go around the nipple cup and engage the hex ring. This tool has the added benefit of acting as an alignment tool. So when you're ready to put your oil, oil rail back in, uh, you just put it on each of the nipples. It'll make each nipple perfectly straight and uh, you know you're aligned and perfectly ready to go back in and that'll avoid damaging your uh, injector o-rings during installation. It's a good tool for any uh, 6.0 liter owner to have if they're ever going to be taking out their the oil rail. That's $59. So if you buy eight, eight of their 606 kits and their tool, you're still looking at less than $400, which it would cost to uh, um, replace uh, the entire one, just one oil rail from Ford. Another way, if you if you haven't actually developed a leak there and you're just wondering if you have a leak there, uh, give your nipple a wiggle. <laughs> if it's if it's nice and loose there, you might have a leak. I mean, uh, it's an O-ring, so you know if it's if it's loose, you're either going to have a problem now or a problem later. This one has just been replaced. It's nice and snug. You can feel it engaged on the, the o-ring there. So if you got wiggly nipples you might want to replace those seals. 
one thing to note, and this has been covered over and over again, um, two points of potential leak on these are the dummy plug and the uh, stand pipe. Um, if you are not aware of these problems, um, the original dummy plug that Ford installed in their oil rails um, was just an O-ring, and uh, with the basically the the pump basically sends a pulsed, uh, almost like a rhythmic uh, high pressure oil, and basically all your seals are going to be going with the rhythm of your pump, um, and basically this dummy plug O-ring was being uh, basically pulsed and wearing away over time. So the upgrade for that is a dummy plug that has a Teflon washer next to it. So it kind of takes up the space, keeps it from wiggling back and forth. Uh, Bostock actually makes a dummy plug too, W302908. And theirs does not have the bigger 12 millimeter hex head. They actually make a HFCM uh, OEM style drain plug too. Well, let's go ahead and uh, replace one of these for you. You're going to uh, take your tool, put it on the nipple cup here. Um, I like using an impact wrench for this. I tried with a breaker bar and it was just kind of torquing things and I didn't like the way it was torquing it in the vise. So, impact is recommended. <laughs> Got your hex ring, your ball tube, and your O ring. You want to take a good look at that. Mine were all deformed. They had like a square edge, and some even had like little bits of O ring on them and little like abrasive areas. Um, but this one, basically all of mine were looking like they were pretty much useless. Um, you're going to want to clean your clean your cavity there. Make sure it's nice and free of any uh, any bits of O-ring, any dirt, debris of any kind. You don't want that seal to be uh, compromised right from the start. Then you're going to take some fresh engine oil. Your upgraded Viton O-ring. Insert that O-ring into the cavity. It fits in there really well. There's a space right there made for it. Take your uh, take your new nipple cup. Give that a nice coat of oil. Give your uh, hex ring a good look. You don't look for any damage, nicks, or little bits of anything on there. Insert it over the nipple cup. Go ahead and put it in hand tight. Now the torque spec on this is 75 foot pounds. It definitely bottoms out, so you're going to bottom out and then you're going to torque it. And go ahead and do it, uh, give it a good three or four clicks. And there you have it. You now have a nipple cup seal that's going to last a good while.